How's it going guys? It's Nate. I'm back with another reaction. Today I'm reacting to Sasha Sloan, Too Sad to Cry, live performance. Now Sasha Sloan is a whole vibe. That's all there is to it. She she's great. I uh, I reacted to her. She, she's got new music coming out, which is awesome. This is this is a little older. This is from January. But either way, she she is just talented. She's got she's got very interesting concepts in her songs, and the emotional melancholy vibe of her music is just great. It, it's great. So yeah, I'm excited to react to this live performance of her music. So I guess, yeah, let's just, just jump right in here. See what we got. Was it raised religious? But I wish that I was. Mm. Having nothing to believe in. Ooh. It's been killing my buzz. That, <laughs> I haven't heard this song before, so hearing the live performance first, I, I, I mean, just listening right here, I'm gonna break it down anyway, even though, even though it's a live performance and this, that, and the other, because this is a vibe. What she just said, um, I wasn't really race religious, but I kind of wish I was, because having nothing to believe in has been killing my buzz. That's so real. So many people are rejecting of of anything to believe in. They want all inclusivity, all encompassing whatever. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to stand on something. You have to stand for something. And even you can't, you can't stand for, uh, even you can't just stand for a cause. You have to have something underneath that. You have to be standing on some source of morality or care or love underneath that. Just standing for a cause, what are you standing for, right? There has to be a morality underneath that. And so, uh, this, and this is where it gets really complicated, really deep in the idea of God and God being the source of morality, which he is, <laughs> there's the, there's no way around it. And this is the argument of the belief in God or the belief of the existence of God. It's like without God, there can be no source of morality because what's good and what's evil, there has to be a stance. So it's kind of, it's cool. We won't get too much into this, because obviously it's not what the song's about. I'm, I'm just reacting to the song. But she's like, you know, because having nothing to believe in has been really, <laughs> that, yeah, that'll kill you. That'll, that will kill your will to survive. Because what are you standing for? you got to have something you're standing for, st something you're believing in. And nowadays there's a pervasive push for just, what if we don't need a purpose? What if we don't need meaning? What? What what are you what are you saying? It's important to have something to stand for, something to believe in because it that provides purpose and meaning. So, yeah, th that first line already is so deep, so crazy. That I was having nothing to believe in. So, so, ooh, so, not knowing what to pray, right? It's like, just look at the sky. 
right? Because it's the highest thing we can see. And just talk. Because when you just talk, your heart comes out, right? The pain, the suffering, the, the joy. Just talk it out. Just talk it out. That's powerful. So the inability to speak, because I don't know what to say. Just talk. Don't worry about what you're saying, or 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 just let it let it go. This, these concepts are so deep and the emotional that she just puts in these songs. <laughs> also. This live performance, just her, the guitar, just chilling. Oh, love this. Too hard to get up. Don't even try, cause I'm scared to fuck up. Don't like to talk, just stay in my bed. Don't even try to go out with my friends. I lied to my doctor, she knew I was faking. Gave me Immobilized. The lack of belief, the lack of something to believe in, the lack of purpose and meaning breeds this immovability, depression, anxiety, too scared. She said it like five times already in the song. I'm too scared to do this. I'm too scared to move. I'm too scared to get out of bed. I'm too scared, right? This breeds that. So, so it's a very interesting concept. Um, and, and there are uh, mental imbalances and, and things that contribute to this kind of immovability other than a lack of belief or a lack of searching for purpose or a lack of purpose. Uh, but I would s venture to say a large percentage of the people that are dealing with these issues would be well serviced to search for a purpose to find something to believe in and in my estimation that's God period but either way talk out loud search search for that purpose and meaning because it's out there for you no, I was faking, gave me some pills, but I'm too scared to take them. I try and I try, but I'm too sad to cry. Can't tell my mama. Can't tell my mama, the person I'm probably closest to in the world. Can't tell her that uh, separation, that isolation is is a uh, is a uh, symptom and a cause of depression and anxiety uh and it's a self value thing as well it's like i'm not worth the trouble i'm not worth the trouble uh, jordan peterson i bring him up probably every other video ah <laughs> uh, yikes uh he even says this people are more willing to take care of their pets, and this is statistically, than themselves. They'll bring their pets to the doctor, they'll get the proper medication for their pets sooner than they'll take care of themselves. That's, a, that's crazy. The love and care that you have for others or the people or things under your care other than yourself, that's not right, that's not right. Take care of yourself, you're worth it. You're valuable. You are so important to the bigger picture. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what you've done. Doesn't matter. Reach out to the people around you. They need you. We need you. Do it. Isolation isn't the answer. And and, and I know when that when that those mental thoughts and and those feelings start to inundate your mind. The easiest thing in the world is to isolate and shut down. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. The hardest thing in the world is to reach out to somebody, especially somebody you love, care about, look up to, anything like that. This is the hardest thing in the world, but 
That is what will kill those thoughts. That is what will kill relationship, care, love, is what will kill that darkness. That's what, that's what it'll do. So, reach out. This is becoming a very interesting video. <laughs> Yay! I love it. I love it. I love it. That this song and video kind of inspire these, these thoughts in, in me and the audience. Like, obviously, it's artistic enough that people are going to pull from it what they pull from it. Um, but, yeah, I love it. I love it. Can't tell my mama It makes her worry See, it makes her worry I'm not suicidal But sometimes the lines get all blurry Yeah, I cut my head Close the blinds Play hallelujah like two dimes so cool as well. Literally one shot started really close up and just slowly zoomed out and panned. This, that's it. It's the entire concept. That's... Ah, yikes. That's good. That's good. It's good. Because people relate to this. They do. And, and honestly, they'll listen and vibe to this and feel related to because they're dealing with these things people you i know you know so feeling related to is great but it's just the first step okay now what are we gonna do about it right this pain this suffering it's human what are we gonna do about it there is an answer there is an answer so and so this just provokes thought which is, which is good, because we need to be talking about these things. We need to be bringing them into the light and fixing these issues. I love it. I love it. You guys are great. Shine your light. Woo! Thanks, Sasha. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and smash that bell. I'm, re I'm uploading videos basically daily. Uh, I, I, shh, I'm doing a lot of reactions, you know, there's a lot to react to and a lot of artists, you know. If you guys have suggestions, drop them down in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys are reacting to and check it out. Seriously, drop them down. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.